Hello everyone, welcome to Simply Nilofar YouTube channel. A very, very happy new year to you. Hope this new year has started on a good note. And welcome to Moiko Gardens. Guess what? Today I'll be speaking to my first Wonder Woman this year. She's none other than Lauren, the founder of Mom Boss Kenya on Facebook and other social media platforms. You know what? Let's go meet her. Happy New Year. You look lovely. So do you. So do you. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I'm Thank so excited you. to be here. Thank you for being part of Simply Nilofar. I'm so excited to talk to you. So am I. Thank you so much. Hey, Lauren. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm good, thanks. I'm so, so happy to have you on the show today. You know, I, I introduced you as a Wonder Woman in the start. And I truly feel you are a Wonder Woman. Yeah, trust me. So I want to know what, what inspired you to do this amazing platform for women, bringing all the women community together as Mom Boss Kenya on social media. Thank you for having me first and foremost, and we're so glad that the weather's great today. Yes, it is. I, I am super, super excited. Um, for me, Mom Boss Kenya started, um, or my journey with Mom Boss Kenya started when I arrived in Kenya as an expat, and mm -hmm. I didn't have any idea where to even take my daughter to the doctor, what gynecologist to go to, what supermarket works, and all of the small little things. I mean, you literally land here, you know nothing and you know no one. And then I got introduced to a few WhatsApp groups and uh -huh. this really helped me to gain knowledge from other women who live in Kenya, just finding my way around play groups, schools, you know, all the usual things. Then, um, I thought, you know, I'm going to create a one-stop platform where people can buy, sell, ask for recommendations and everything in one group mm -hmm. specifically for women. Mm -hmm. So initially it started more as a an expat group to help expat women and it just exploded into something else, something even more beautiful and it's really just out of God's hand. That is so very true because I'm simply amazed with the fact that how many women come on board every single day to support each other. So I mm. should be saying mm. thank you to you for that. <laughs> thank you. So besides this, what else do you do? Um, well, I'm a full-time mom as well. I've got two children. My uh -huh. daughter, my daughter Rosalie, she's three and a half. And my son Elijah is going to be two now in April. And wow. they, my pride and my joy. And But having said that, every mother will know having children is really hard work. Yes. So I... I really feel it's important that if you are a stay-at-home mom, that you're also still doing things that enrich you as an individual. Because apart from being a mother, apart from being a wife, you are still your own entity, right? And if you are not going to nourish and listen to that inner voice mm -hmm. that is you, mm -hmm. that is your essence, mm -hmm. you're going to suffer with things like depression and anxiety and just a general lack of being unhappy in life. So, so I have a couple of things that I like to do. Um, I enjoy cooking. Mm -hmm. um, I, have a, I haven't blogged much on my blog, but I do really enjoy cooking. So that's my happy place. I like going into my kitchen, chasing everyone else, putting on some music and cooking some good food wow. for my family. Um, and then Mom Boss Kenya keeps me really, really busy. So in between juggling just general administration of the page, I still put together events. Um, we have some come tea with me mornings that's are coming up. We have another pop-up market that we're busy organizing. And there's a whole bunch of other things that we are putting putting in place to make the platform much more successful. Yeah. Over and above that, there isn't much time for anything else. <laughs> so my, my time is really dedicated to my children, uh -huh. to Mombas Kenyan, to my family and friends, and it really does keep me busy 24-7. Yeah, I saw, in fact, you had this very interesting year-end event. Yes. Uh, which, uh, uh, even as I was on the way, we were part of that, and I really wanted to be there, but unfortunately, my daughter was unwell that time. But it was so inspiring that all these ladies came together you gave them awards and you had gifts for them and it is good you know because I feel this is one time where we all leave everything and we give time to ourselves come mm. have some fun and mm. you initiating a event like that 
was absolutely brilliant. Thank you, well thank you, thank you. It didn't come without its stress, but it's because of the community members that everything had rallied together. I mean, just with the members alone, we gave out over a million shillings worth of prize sponsorships that we got in for wow. that event on its own. So wow. for me and for our community, we should be immensely proud. That is true. And that's, that's, that's a lot of inspiring inspiration for many of us around. So well, how, what do you think, how important it is a woman to be independent, you know, besides as a mother or a wife or whatever role she's playing. How important do you think it is a woman to be independent? The older I've gotten, the more I have realized the importance of having independence as a woman. Mm -hmm. Because, and, and maybe the younger generations are feeling this importance because it is a lot more spoken about. Yes. It's a lot more advocated, right? Mm -hmm. Then as opposed to 10 years ago or 20 years ago when we were younger. So for me, it's vitally important, but I can't say that it was generally top of my priority list mm -hmm. maybe 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, when I became a mother, I realized once I've had a daughter, mm -hmm. just how important it is that there are equal rights. And moving to Kenya, being involved in uh, mostly uh, or majority in the Asian community here, it's it's been brought to my my, I was probably living in ignorant bliss, but I never realized how suppressed some of these women are. Yeah. That basic things that, for example, that I take for granted, like I don't have to ask my husband per se permission to do anything. Yeah. We communicate, hey, I'm going to go do this today. I'm just, you know, there's no controlling, but there's mm. so many women that are being controlled on yes. a daily basis it's for the smallest thing, you sad. know. Yeah. So the older I've gotten, the more I've realized how important it is. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm a big advocate for women independence and equality. That doesn't mean I'm a feminist, though. Yeah, yeah there, there, there's a huge difference between being a feminist and having an independent mindset. But that's where, you know, people forget that thin line in between that. And uh, where you're talking about the permission part, it's quite unfortunate even I feel that a lot of women have to keep asking first, it's your parents, secondly, then it's your husband or whoever, your partner. So this, I hope it brings that change in the society very, very soon. And you know, somebody has to take the initiative. And I think you've, you've started that brilliantly on social media because of course, social media is widely used these days. Mm -hmm. So that it's, it's great, it's going great. So now what are your future goals? What do you intend to do now? Ooh, so everyone's going to have to watch the space and hold on with me a little bit. But uh -huh. I think everyone who has journeyed with me so far, and remember Mombas Kenya is not even a year old yet. Mm -hmm. And in August of last year, we only had 500 members. We know on over, I think we're on 13,300, somewhere wow. around there. Wow. It's big. We grow at about like 50 to 70 members a day who who actually joined the group. That's not member approval. So the group is growing rapidly. But there are some really exciting things that we're working on that is not, it's going to open up so many doors for so many people on so many levels. Wow. And we just need, I just need to have everyone just trust in me because I have this vision and it's going to be amazing. But I can't really say much more. I cannot wait to see what comes this year. <laughs> Definitely would be, love to be part of that, whatever you're planning to, because yes. I guess, uh, I have been inspired a lot by you on everyday basis when I see even if it's like okay I love to see your pretty face when you post on the <laughs> but besides that you know any post of any um, any ladies there and asking for something and then there are hundreds of women commenting you know yeah. it's amazing yeah. because you're like okay you know what you've been thinking in one direction that oh you know people are this people are like that but no there are many people out there who are ready to help each other which is just brilliant and i think that's a great start to mm -hmm. the year mm -hmm. so this basically this community which you've built like the women community on mombus what what is your vision for it how do you feel about it right now some days i feel like i have to pinch myself <laughs> because um, you know, everyone, before we even touch on, on that, everyone thinks that I've done such a great thing for the women on Mombos, Kenya. Mm. But the platform has really done so much for me as, as an individual. And I'm not talking about a mother. I'm not talking about a wife. I'm talking about Lauren on her own yes. because I'm, I'm a person and I have feelings and I have desires and I have ambitions. Mm. And I have always been restless in my life. I mean, there's a couple of role models that I look up to, and one of them is Rolene Strauss. She is just the 
epitome of perfection in my <laughs> eyes. And I'll be looking at Rolene Strauss on Instagram and I'm thinking, how can I be, how can I aspire to be more in her likeness? Yes. And I always felt that there was something missing in my life. And for me, what I am doing today, it gives me complete and utter fulfillment as a woman. That's true. Not a mother, not a wife, me. And the minute you also start nurturing yourself mm -hmm. and watering your little garden inside of you, mm -hmm. you are going to start to grow and you are going to start to elevate and it begins with you so your mindset um, the way you think the way you react to life and to situations so for me Mombas Kenya when I wake up in the morning I can't wait to see what's happening <laughs> usually I wake up to like 70 pending posts and then like that's generally, you, so it's like approving <laughs> <Including> and <laughs> approving. I love it. You know, I'm, I'm, um, sometimes it's difficult because sometimes people, a lot of people send me really sad things privately. That's why I know there is such a need for women to feel more independent in this country. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes it's sad because there's only so much that you can do, right? That's true, as an individual. How much you know, you uh, I, I can't give donations out to everyone because I don't have, you know. It's really hard sometimes. Sometimes I feel like crying when I hear some people's stories. Aww. But in the general, 90% of the messages that I get from people is always encouraging how they love mom boss. So for me, mom boss is my baby. It's mm -hmm. my third baby. And I will protect it fiercely. And I stand by my vision and I stand by the morals and the ethics and the codes that this, this group has been founded on. Mm -hmm. We don't like bullying. It's no negativity, no hate speech, business ethics, business ethics. I can't stress it enough. There's just too much um, dodginess going on in general in yeah. business and trading. Mm -hmm. So teaching people those skills to elevate you to become better. Yeah. Uh, it's my life. That's it's like the underlying thing that it's all about elevating each other. But you know, uh, when you talk about elevating, this is one thing I always talk about even on my social media platform or even on my show or whatever it is, that I feel not everybody is here empowering everybody. It's like some people are out there to just put you down or some people are there, they see you doing something good, but then they're like, oh, why is she doing better? Oh, you know, mm, as mm. we discussed even mm. earlier, that there are two different type of people. And then there's other person who sees you and gets inspired by you and says, oh, you know what, mm. I want to be like her. So how do you balance between such people? I'm sure you come across so many of those every single day. Because I do so, and it's, it's hard to handle them at times. Look, it is sometimes really tough because not everybody's on the same wavelength as you. Mm -hmm. Some people are operating a few pistons higher than, than, than some people else, or they have a better understanding or knowledge of these things. Yeah. For me personally, I always just try to act in kindness. So even when somebody comes with negativity to me or I um, get... I sometimes, I've had to deal with a couple of negative things from members and stuff. I've always just tried to handle it with grace. Yeah. Um, what can you do? I have to, if, if I'm standing in front of everyone and saying, you got to advocate kindness uh -huh. and you got to, you, you got to think about what you're saying to people because I can't control what you're saying. That's true. This is you, mm. this is me, yeah. and this is how I'm going to react. Yes. It's not easy. I don't always get it right. That doesn't mean... I let people walk all over me. I will stand up for myself and for my platform. I'm sure you've seen sometimes I put my foot down and say, hey, yes, yes, this I is have. not going to happen yeah. because it's not. So that doesn't mean I'm a pushover, but I will always do my best to help everyone. And if everybody just is mindful of how they speak to people and how they interact because you can never judge a book by its cover. That's you cannot. Where, where we are sitting now, we have our own issues and our own baggage. So you can you can only be kind to people and and even strangers, people in traffic, you don't know what <laughs> day the person's having in the car yeah, next yeah, to you yeah. or 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 anything. So you you just just be kind. That's true. I guess we need a we need a, a session with Lauren one day where we all come together and we just sit and listen to her speaking. 
No, I'm <laughs> living a good time. I guess we need that one. So if like if it's a new member who is uh, not yet on Momboss yet, uh, what's the procedure like? How can they come on board? Okay, so you can search for Momboss Kenya in Facebook and, the, you know, the group will come up. I'm mm -hmm. sure everyone's pretty familiar with the logo, yes. though we are busy rebranding and retweaking it to make it a little bit, uh, you'll see, it's going to be really cool. Mm -hmm. So you can search it. If not, people need to invite you. And then once we make sure that you're not a guy, because... We get a lot of those lately. There's a lot of men trying to come on to Mom Boss <laughs> looking for... Yeah, with all these women on board, who doesn't want <laughs> And then the funny thing is, there's two questions, right? So Harisha and I often, we're always laughing. We're like, look at this one. <laughs> then, are you a mother or a businesswoman? No, I'm looking for a sugar mama. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Some of them will say really? yes, they're mothers. Uh. But it's clearly a guy. So, yes, you can choose, you, you know, once we make sure that you, you, you fit the criteria, then we approve you and you're on the group. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> so, yeah, no sugar mamas. Here. No, <laughs> no. This is purely business and empowering each other. You know, yes. that was amazing to know what Mom Boss is all about and you. And besides that, of course, we want to know you as a person. Okay. So, Lauren, I've got a rapid fire round for you coming up. Ooh, okay, yes, no, yes. I can't see the questions. Okay, okay, let me take a sip of my coffee. <laughs> okay, get ready. <laughs> you need that Ooh. sugar rush. Okay, are you ready? Yes. So I've got 10 questions for you. Okay. And it's going to be really, really quick. Okay? Okay. You ready? Yes. All right, so your first question. First thing you do when you wake up in the morning? I check mom boss <laughs> approved posts. <laughs> <laughs> to the point. And last movie you watched and loved it? Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. That's for yourself or your daughter? No, for me. Okay. <laughs> for me. <laughs> okay, and uh, what are you thinking right now? I'm thinking I love that scene where she tries to smile in the movie, but she's not really smiling. She's like gnawing. <laughs> I love it. She's, she's, she's cool. Okay, your hidden talent. My hidden talent? I, I enjoy doing ballroom dancing, oh. though I'm not good at it. I enjoy it. And I enjoy crocheting. Mm -hmm. I can crochet. Uh -huh. And I enjoy painting. Someone told me you love acting. Acting? <laughs> No, I, can act the fool. Can... I can act the fool. <laughs> and one thing you can't live without? My cell phone. Cell phone, wow. Yes. <laughs> My cell phone. That's like, I can't. I can't leave the house without it. I, I, I will literally go into a coma if my cell phone goes missing. That's very practical and yes. very true. And uh, say something in any other language besides English. Okay, let me think of something to say in my native tongue. Um, gosh, now you've put me on the spot. Um, welcome to South Africa. Oh, wow. What language was that? That's Afrikaans. Welcome to South Africa. Oh, wonderful. That's where originally you are yes. from. Beautiful. And what is that first thing you notice about a person? Um, a, a man or a woman? A person. <laughs> a person. Um, probably their face. Mm -hmm. I probably, you know, like their hair. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very, I, I'm a hair person, so I like good hair and I like good hands. Uh -huh. And if it's a man, he's got to have like a nice bun. Um, work out, work out. <laughs> and what is your favorite food? My favorite food is Italian. Ah. I love I, I love pasta and salads. Wow. And you said you're an amazing cook, so... I'm okay. Mm -hmm. You won't die. <laughs> I'm coming for pasta. <laughs> and what is your favorite book or what is the book you're currently reading? I'm not reading a book. Okay. I don't have time to read a book. Though, if I do read books, and when I have read books, I love romances. So I'm a big Marion Keys fan, uh -huh. but I haven't read in a long time. It's, it's a while. You've read. Yes. I understand. You know, it's it's not easy to juggle between work and family. Now, three things you would want to change in today's generation. Um, crime. <laughs> Safety for me is a big issue. Um, I remember when we were kids growing up, being a little bit more free. So for me, safety, um, the pace of life that we're living, and the, t the amount of technology that we're using, I don't think it gives us a good quality of life. I yeah. think it's adding to depression, anxiety, and all types of things, but we can't escape it. Mm -hmm. um, it is what it is. So yeah. for me, that would be it. I think utilizing it in the right way is important, <clears throat> the technology around you. Thank you. Thank you so Pleasure. much. Pleasure. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. <laughs> Thank you for having me. 
And as I said even earlier, that you're the first Wonder Woman on our show, on our thank channel. Thank you. Simpinova. So thank you for having us and for inspiring us today. Thank you very Looking much. Looking forward to so much more with you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. I think once you have your next event, uh, definitely would be like to part of it. And we'll have you back on the show then. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. She truly is a Wonder Woman. I'm completely inspired by her and I'm sure you are inspired too. Well, we are going to have many more achievers coming on the show. Simply like, share and subscribe to Simply Nilofar. And yes, a big thank you to this amazing location, Muko Gardens.